welcome to vocab number one for English for Honors. Um, so uh, basically, I'm just going to kind of give you a rundown of the definitions and a couple of examples of these things, and you can use that uh, in terms for your studying and that kind of thing when you're working on your vocab quizzes. Uh, so to marshal is to arrange or assemble a group of people, usually soldiers in some kind of order. Um, so it's a verb, right? It's just a thing that you're doing. So you might marshal the troops or marshal your students into line or something like that. Uh, the proletariat is a member of the working class, um, and that is a, a noun, right? It's a person. Uh, this is created kind of, this idea was created kind of by Karl Marx, um, and it'd be anybody that's like a laborer would be thought of as the proletariat. Dirge is a mournful song, a piece of music or poem. A lot of times these are going to be uh, like spoken or sung at funerals, that kind of thing. Uh, a round character is a character who has several defining characteristics. They're multidimensional. So you think of them like, like a circle, right? They have lots and lots of things about them. Uh, the opposite of a round character would be a flat character. Um, so if, you know, if we're thinking back to uh, like Oedipus Rex in 10th grade, right? Um, he has lots of defining characteristics and a lot of them are contradictory. Uh, that makes him a very round character, right? He has a lot going on. An archetype is a typical example of a person or a thing. Uh, so that's kind of like those archetypes that we've been studying. It might be, you know, the star-crossed lovers or the hero or the initiate and things like that. Um, and it's basically just a repeated type of person or type of thing that has been um, used over and over and over again in literature. Juxtaposition is the instance of placing close together side by side uh, two often very different objects for comparison or contrast. Uh, the best example of this still comes from your 10th grade, uh, from one of your 10th grade novels, All Quiet on the Western Front, when Paul talks about seeing a butterfly landing on a skull. We have the juxtaposition of, of you know, this kind of horrible, ugly thing in the skull with this beautiful, vibrant thing with the, the butterfly. You also have the juxtaposition of kind of life and death at this point. Um, so that would be uh, a good example of juxtaposition. Synecdoche is uh, a figure of speech in which the part is used for the whole or the whole for a part. So if I said, um, I need you know some helping hands to take this out to the garbage, I don't just want the hands, right? I want the people that are attached to them, but I am using the part to reference the whole, right? The, the whole person. Um, or if I like refer to my car as my wheels, right? I'm not just talking about the wheels, I'm talking about the whole thing, right? The part is being used for the whole. Uh, fecund is producing an abundance of offspring or new growth, fertile. A lot of times we'll think of like swamps as fecund um, because they can grow a whole lot of stuff and they're like marshy and things like that. Uh, to discern is to perceive or recognize something. Again, it's an action. Uh, and the monologue is a part of a drama in which a single actor speaks uh, a long speech. Um, this is different from a soliloquy because they're usually monologuing to somebody else. It's not to themselves, which is what a soliloquy would be. Okay. If you have any questions about your vocab, please let me know.